Today we're talking about the Spitfire Audio Oliver Patrice Weeder pool project. So this virtual instrument plugin is actually pretty unique and it's actually really cool. And we're gonna go over in this video why these things are true, but I will talk about those later on. So really what I want to talk about in this intro here is the fact that I wrote a little piece with this plugin, strictly this plugin, using three of its presets. And the idea of this piece is to help you guys decide if this is a plugin you want to add to your collection or not. And it's only $29, so it's not going to break the bank. But hey, you know, you definitely want to check out this review if it's something you're thinking about or if you're on the edge, because I think this will do a good job helping you decide. So if you guys want to learn if the Pool Project plugin is right for you, stick around after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash the like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we're talking about the Spitfire Audio Oliver Patrice Weeder, the pool project. So this is a interesting virtual instrument plugin because it was recorded in a pool hall. Now when I say pool hall, I don't mean a place where you shoot pool. I mean an actual place that has a swimming pool, as you can see in the picture here. This is where it was recorded. So essentially, it is a toolkit of transportive textures. And I'll read the description here for you. Breathe new life into your compositions with this versatile toolkit of unique timbers created by contemporary composer Oliver Patrice Weeder. For his second sample library, the expert sound curator has recorded a wide variety of instruments and techniques in the remarkable setting of a reverberant pool house surrounded and inspired by nature. The sounds range from contemplative solo and trio vocal chants and breathy woodwind swells to personalized piano sounds, delicate percussion, and shimmering organic and electronic loops, carefully sculpted to blend together seamlessly and complete with a range of bespoke controls, effects, and reverbs, adding a much sought after human quality and fragility to your music, these transcendental textures are suited to intimate film scores and contemporary classical or ambient tracks alike. All right, so as you can see by the description, this plugin has a little bit of everything in it. So you got drums, you got some synth sounds, you got some vocal chants, you got some pads essentially. This is me kind of describing my knowledge of it here too. You could create a whole song using this one plugin unlike maybe some of the other Spitfire audio plugins that I normally review from the original series because they're more geared toward just one particular instrument but with some different sounds of that instrument. This one has a bunch of different instruments in it. It also has flutes, recorders, and stuff like that in it, so you're getting a very eclectic collection of sounds. And as mentioned at the beginning, I wrote a piece using this plugin here. Now I use three presets in it and we'll talk about that when we get to it. But essentially this video here is to give you a overview of this plugin here, what it sounds like, and then also how you use it. So we're gonna start with doing a overview of the user interface so I can show you how it works. And then we'll go into actually listening to the little piece that I wrote. Now, before we get to that, I do wanna mention in the top right corner, I have a link to my Spitfire audio playlist popping up. If you guys like what you hear in this video, you guys will probably like some videos in that playlist, so check it out after this video. So with that being said, let's get into looking at the user interface of this plugin. All right, so this is the user interface here, and this plugin is super easy to use. So what you actually wanna do first is actually click on the yellow section here, and this is your presets and you can select them by type here, or you can just kind of scroll down and see what they got. And they're kind of broken into categories, as you can see, you got like gentle breeze, you got vocal trio, you got pianos. So they're broken into types like that. So ideally you want to pick a preset and then go into here and then you can modify it. And your first fader here, this is just essentially your level. 
and I always run this at 100%, so I suggest you do the same. This here, this is your dynamics. So if you read at the bottom, it says, move between the close and pull mics, controls velocity scaling on the pianos and drum machine, adds layers to the synths. So this fader here does a couple different things depending on which preset you have selected. So I just recommend after you get your preset, just move this fader around so you get the setting that you like. Over here, we got our rotary knob here. And if you press the center button, you get access to what the knob controls. So first you got reverb, then you got delay, then you got key release, and then pedal volume. So if you want to change your reverb type, you can actually go to the top here, click on this. And these are all the different types of reverb that come with this here. So that's pretty cool. You got a nice large selection. And then down at the bottom here, you got your pitch bend and you got your mod wheel. And then this keyboard picture here. So you will get a little grid basically in here that will tell you which keys are available. So they'll be blacked out when they're not available. When you choose specific presets, you're gonna see that this changes in here, okay? Now, this will affect people, well, pretty much with anything. If you have a full size 88 key keyboard, then you'll have a better view of this. If you're using a MIDI controller that is you know, broken down to just an octave, just keep that in mind when you are going up and down with your octave key that if you're out of the range of what this tells you you can use and you don't hear a sound, that is why it's not working, okay? So, you know, besides that, you got your basic stuff in any plugin you would see for a virtual instrument. You got your tune knob here, you got a pan knob, and you got volume. And that's pretty much all there is to using this plugin. Really, I just recommend selecting the presets here. And then, you know, honestly, I would actually dial in the sound a little bit more with other plugins outside of this one, because I think the presets are pretty good in here. I would just do some EQ, which I actually kind of did, as you can see in my Pro Tool session here. I got a couple other plugins in here after the actual pull project, okay? So that is the user interface of the pull project. So why don't we actually now take a listen to the little piece that I wrote? All right, so let's give it a listen. All right, cool. So that is my little piece that I wrote. And I really like that piece. And I think it is just perfect for this particular plugin because this plugin is just so mellow and laid back. And I really feel like this piece that I wrote really emphasizes that sound that we are getting from this plugin. So yeah, I, I really, really like this plugin. And I think it's very unique. It's very different than the other Spitfire Audio plugins that I have reviewed. So I definitely give this a thumbs up. And I'd love to know what you guys think of the piece that I wrote and also what you think of this plugin. So let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this plugin, I have a link below in the description where you guys can go purchase it. So if you guys end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I'm making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.